After months of waiting, Mojang Studios did just add the second most exciting update of the year to the game, Minecraft 1.19.4. Today we're going to be looking at all of the new changes, along with talking about what it means for the upcoming Trails and Tales update, also known as Minecraft 1.20. If you're hyped, do not forget to drop this video a like and subscribe for 10 years of good luck in Minecraft. And with that being said, let's dive straight into it. So let's begin with the information officially from Mojang and a few developers to start off and then we'll go on to talk about what this means for the Trails and Tales update. On March the 14th, Mojang did tweet this to the official Minecraft Twitter account saying update day in Minecraft. Java edition 1.19.4 includes enchantment, glint changes and additions to jukebox interaction. Full change log here. Now we'll talk about that in a moment and we'll look over some of the most important parts from the article provided by Mojang. But before that let's look at some more information from a number of people working at Mojang who actually developed this update. The producer for Minecraft at Mojang, Adrian, did tweet out this saying well well well. Would you look at that, a brand new Minecraft Java update is going out. Say hello to 1.19.4. Now one thing that's really interesting about this, I did just say that Adrian is the producer for Minecraft at Mojang, but interestingly enough, just about a week ago or so, Adrian did announce the plan to move on from the role of producer at Minecraft. If you want to check out my video about that, I made a full one breaking it down and talking about the information. But anyway, let's take a quick look at the article provided by Mojang. I'm not going to go through the entire thing, but I'll just put some of the most important bits on screen right now so you can read them as we go through. But the first paragraph does go on to say we're now releasing 1.19.4 for Minecraft Java Edition. This this release comes with improvements to horses and jukeboxes, new visuals for potions, new accessibility features and many new technical capabilities like the damage and ride commands. The update experiment has also been updated with a first look at the sniffer, archaeology, armor trims and cherry grove features. I'll put on screen right now just some of the most important changes but these are listed in the article, feel free to read it for yourself if you want to go through every single change. But just to name a few. There's been some changes to jukeboxes, obviously the potions and the way they look. There's been a lot of very small interesting changes in 1.19.4 and I'm sure that some of these are very exciting but most of all they're just small little changes that a few players asked for but Mojang decided to add them all in 1.19.4. This update was described more as a catch-up update or a quality of life update. Mojang was just working on some of these smaller changes and finally we do see some in inventory updates in 1.19.4 but yeah this is really just a final update to bring us up to speed and to update the game make it fresh and remove any bugs before we do then go on to 1.20. Now let's talk about the Trails and Tales update the upcoming 1.20 update and what this release does mean for that because there's quite a lot to talk about. First up we do know that obviously 1.19.4 is out now and there will not be like a 1.19.5. What this means means is this is the last update we will ever get before we get 1.20. So this basically means there will be no more updates now, no more 1.19.5 or anything like that. All there will be is more snapshots and more betas for 1.20 the Trials and Tales update, hopefully giving us some more information about the sniffer, archaeology and the cherry blossom biome and that will pretty much continue on until we see the release. Now let's talk about when we can expect to see 1.20 announced and what this means means for the release date of the Trials and Tales update. Because as I've mentioned in previous videos, this release is amazing news. Obviously a portion of the Bedrock Edition team was working on 1.19.4 and a portion of the team at Mojang in general was working on this update, but now it is out the way officially and it has released fully to the public, the team that was working on this update and getting it out there will now be able to move on to different projects. What this most likely means is they will either be starting development on 1.21 or they will be continuing development and finishing up 1.20. As I talked about in my previous video this will create kind of like a snowball effect so that when these developers go over to work on 1.20 the increase in developers will allow them to work faster and then obviously the more work they do the less they have to complete so it will create a snowball effect where over the next few weeks we will most likely see a lot more progress on 1.20, a lot more bug fixes, a lot more changes 
there's a lot more features implemented, but obviously Maljunk have mentioned previously that the 1.20 update is feature complete, the Cherry Blossom Biome was the last feature to be added, so we cannot really expect any new changes or any new content, rather we will just see updates to the things we've already saw, like archaeology, maybe that might get a slight change, but yeah we will not see any new features or any new content, it will just be updates to what we've already got in the game right now. For this part of the video I just want to speculate wildly and talk about some rumours and theories and my personal thoughts about what could be happening surrounding the release of 1.20 and when we could see an announcement for the release date because obviously now 1.19.4 is released and it is only mid-March. As we've saw with previous updates Maljang likes to release them in June which is the start of summer so this leaves a few months between when we usually get updates and now. So I think within the next few weeks Maljang will begin to progress very late into the development of the 1.20 update and what this means is we are increasingly likely to get some kind of a release date or announcement for the 1.20 release date. Let's not forget even if this update is releasing in June which is when Maljang usually releases the updates that does not mean they will have to announce it in June or very close to the release date. What I think will happen is over the next few weeks when Maljang starts to understand where they're at in development and once I understand how long it will take to finish up development on the 1.20 update that is when they can be confident with a release date so I think it is likely that over the next few weeks we will likely hear something about the release date or hopefully we will start getting pre-releases which obviously then leads to a release candidate. This is just my speculation though honestly maybe not over the next few weeks but maybe sometime in April I think that is quite likely if not then maybe May but as I've said the development has been going very well on the Charles and Tales update and because of this I think there is every possibility that Maljang could release it earlier than June maybe sometime in May but yeah there's not really any evidence or proof to back this up from Maljang so all we can do really right now is wait take it with a grain of salt and just look at any leaks that may pop out. One thing is clear though the release of 1.19.4 is amazing news for the 1.20 update it means that now the developers are freed up they can work on the 1.20 update they can speed up development and get the update out even quicker I think the fact that 1.20 has been feature complete for a number of weeks now is obviously a good sign as well it means Maljang is very confident they are very set in their ways and they know when they want to get this update out it's not snowballing out of control like other updates did like the caves and cliffs update Maljang is being very realistic with this one now we're at the part of the video where you can help to change Minecraft. If you have any amazing ideas or thoughts or any theories or features you would like to see added to Minecraft, be sure to comment down below do this Maljang along with your amazing ideas. It's a good way to get your ideas out there to the developers who are obviously very important and can add them to Minecraft. I know sometimes I like to watch these videos and love to read the comments. So commenting down below is a great way to get your ideas through to the developers. But with that being said everyone, do not forget to check out these videos on screen right now. Personally chosen by me they will keep you up to date with all of the latest minecraft news 